Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about a uh, document, uh, first time journal and report uh, in Business Central. So let's go to Business Central and check uh, how this works. So let's start with the documents. So uh, what I will do I will open the list of sales orders so I can I am in the whole center I can click here in the sales uh, and then click in the sales order we will open a list of sales orders that I have open uh, in business center so what I can do here uh, I can select this first order Just, just to check uh, how this uh, is, is organized in, in Business Center. So basically here I have my um, action area. So uh, uh, if you click in, in home, you can see uh, what is the option that is available. Also, if you click in prepare, you will see that you will have other options like the also for print and send, request approval, order, and report. Uh, um, how this is organized? Uh, we have here uh, the tabs. So we have here the general, and the general has the information that uh, is relation to the customer. Uh, and he also is the header of this uh, sales order. Uh, and you can see here that you have some data and if you click here in show more you can see um, the other data that is not available uh, when you click uh, show less uh, okay uh, and then uh, what you can do also uh, and check here is that you have the header and also that you have the line and the line is basically the item or the service uh, that will, that was select for this order. What is the quantity and what is the value? As you can see here. Also, we have here uh, in the line. Uh, uh, here is the line. Then I, we have here the manage that we can add a new line that you can select. Uh, delete and that you can select items also you have the line that is something relation to this item so uh, for this item I can check some relation information like dimensions uh, item track lines uh, and and also I can check the, uh, the item uh, availability so you can check here and uh, choose what you want and also i have some functions here uh, like if i want to apply a discount if i want to insert a, a test is also something that you can do here in the line of the sales or then you have here that is basically the calculate value based on on the item the quantity and the value that you input here. Uh, you can see here that you have the value with tax and uh, the net value. Also, you can check in the header what is the invoice detail. So basically, if you click here, you, you, you see uh, uh, the data uh, and, and what is the payment term code what is the tax area that was uh, select uh, and also uh, uh, what is the payment set okay uh, and uh, if you click in show more you will be uh, able to see other information that is not available when you click show less okay and now what we can do uh, is, is check the shipping, uh, shipping and billing. Uh, also the same, you can click here. 
and see the data also the same for foreign trade and for prepayment and how this work right uh, how, how we can uh, set up this and define uh, what is the fields that i want to show he uh, uh, when i access uh, the sales order uh, and what is the fields that i will just show uh, when i click more so basically uh, this is a setup that you can do as a user so you can go here and click personalize okay so what you what you can do here so you have the, the posting date and then what you can do here uh, is say that this is a filter that you uh, just want to show uh, always uh, that you want to show just when this uh, show more uh, and also uh, if is uh, if you want to exclude this from the quick entry uh, so he uh, uh, if you close this you can see that the posting date uh, is uh, one filter that you uh, show uh, just as always so yeah I, I think it's uh, so hours but let's confirm I don't remember anymore so let's let's confirm so let's okay sorry so no uh actually uh when we click show more uh, they just uh, uh show the due date not okay but the post date is also here as you can see right so let's go to personalize again and let's make it um let's change right uh, uh, let, let's not um uh, make this uh, order date uh, when you uh, available just when you click show more mm -hmm. so let, let's see just as a test just to see how this works so let's put here and then uh, show under uh, show more okay so and then let's save okay so you can see here that the order date is not uh, show here but if i click in show more i can see uh, the order date here okay so this is uh, the concept uh, with uh, show less and uh, uh, show more uh and also he so let's pull up this because i want to see all my page um uh, and uh let's see what we can show more here uh we have journal and we have report right so let's so let's go from here i think this is enough for uh, document and uh, press tab so let's go to the journal and see how this work um, in business sector so basically here so let's put here cash management and let's go to the payment journal so basically what we can do um, in, in, in in a journal so let's open is basically you can uh, input the data or uh, let's see i want to pay uh, a supplier so uh, what i need to do here is is basically um, select the supplier that i want to pay uh, and what i can do here is 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 basically uh, do this 
uh, manually, uh, right? Um, and he, what I can do uh, in this case, I can use is, and then I will select the one vendor that has uh, something open. Okay, I don't have payment value. Okay, so let's see if we have something open for this customer. Okay, we have. So what I will do, I will apply this. Okay. So the system will transfer the value for me. Uh, and the only thing that I need to do here uh, is to check if I add everything that I need so it's okay uh, and if it's okay uh, I just need to go here and post but the idea here is uh, just explain how the journal uh, uh, work in business sense so basically uh, when I am uh, work with a journal I can I didn't post anything uh, yet, so I can change. So it's something that that you need to consider. So in this case, e, I can say mm, no, uh, is not this uh, invoice that I want to pay. So I can just go uh, and uh, exclude this line, and uh, nothing uh, will be saved. Okay, so basically, like I, I didn't uh, as, execute anything. So I can do again because it was not this invoice. I was wrong. Uh, uh, and basically, what I can do, go to apply again. And uh, is this invoice. Okay. Okay, and if I am 100% sure, I just have to go here and post. Okay. Okay, and then this is how uh, the journal works uh, in ERP. And the other is, is uh, to show uh, the report. So basically, I post this, and what I can do now uh, is go to, for example, uh, I can go to purchase and see uh, some report uh, to show, or maybe he in the payment journal, I can uh, go and 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 uh, show uh, uh, this journal or this report. Uh, so basically, let's see. I think uh, we can go here. Can go to the explore and see uh, one report that we can we can use. For purchasing, uh, so let's see. So here we have eight report. Uh, okay. Okay, so take a five, okay, nothing specific that we can use. Okay, so what we can do here uh, uh, also is all standard report so we can we can take this uh, vendor balance uh, today a good example so here uh, okay uh, report I, I think we don't have so much data so uh, uh, you can do this uh, and also here uh, we need to specify a date 
so I will put until 31 of March and let's review this okay show amount and just this okay Okay, is here. Uh, okay, so let's put this into. Okay, I think my date format is not matching. Okay, so here. Let's try again. And see uh, what we have as data. Okay. just to make this more visible so we you can see uh, the report and how you can run it uh, please let me know if you have any doubt uh, subscribe my channel and thank you